Oh, okay. Yeah, in your face, yo. Morphite is rare. Extremely rare. My parents used to talk about it like it was the most precious thing in the universe. That is one of the only memories I have of them. I've never seen any in real life, only in pictures and holograms. One day I want to find some and start my own colony away from this old station. I keep things interesting by reading and training. Mr. Mason gives me small jobs here and there so I can pay my rent. He raised me and he taught me how to fly a ship. He's getting older, though. Mira, it's time for some combat training. Combat training? Is that really necessary? It is if you want to live. That's a good enough reason. Kit Kat is here, and he will guide you through it. Listen carefully and follow his lead. Roger that. Use WASD to move around. Use your mouse to aim. Hello, I'm the Educator, and this is Lesson 1 for More Fight. Yeah, I saw this on Steam, and I thought, uh, this looks really cool. I'm in totally intrigued by the art style, and I'm, um, I really am just sort of, uh, just pushing buttons here. Alright. Don't know how to get into things. Can I click on that? Oh! Sorry. Uh, was that right? Alright. Alright. Uh, let's go in... No, let's go in here. Let's, let's see what we've got. Scan plants and animals to find a rare heat resistance attribute. Use the rare attribute to upgrade your suit with heat resistance. Yeah, that sounds smart. Alright, so looks like we might be able to upgrade visor, armor, and boots. Alright, we've got several weapons to find. We're holding no missions. We've scanned nothing. All right, close that out. Let's go into settings. All right, music. You're a little, a little stinking loud. I don't want it. I want to turn it all the way off. I want to hear it. Maybe leave it there. Sure. Okay. Let's go R. Okay, here we go. Okay. Action is E. I'm going to assume that means, like, opening things. Alright. Alright. Okay, let's resume. Oh, wait. Aim at the door, then shoot with the left mouse button. Alright, well, that's... Oh! You've got company. Right click on the robo spiders to target them. Then shoot. Okay, okay. Now jump with space bar to get up these platforms. Okay. Looks easy enough. It does look There's easy. a teleporter on the last one to get you to the top. Oh, nice. I wonder why they would have you shoot at everything instead of just giving you an a button to um, to just open stuff. There's got to be a reason, right? I don't know enough about game design and development. Oh, okay. Yeah, in your face, yo. A uh, little pump up action here. Holy crap! I think I teleported. 
Okay. Oh. I Bella, found you. Oh. Change of plans. Mm -hmm. I have a gift for you. Thank you. What is it? It's a scanner. Ah. I think you are ready to take the next step in your training. Uh, okay. I was hoping for like a super blaster. Oh, I'm already in the. Ask, what is the purpose of this mission, Mr. Mason? Bioscans. We need to sell them in order to purchase supplies for the shop. We're running quite low, I'm afraid. Fantastic! I'm so ready for this. I've packed a pistol for you, just to be on the safe side. I'm also sending KitKat down with you to help with the logistics. Oh, appreciate it. Oh, boy. You won't regret this, Mr. Mason. I should be back in time for dinner. Locate the planet Avon on your star map in the Liquimi system. It's highlighted in green. Once you land, Kit Kat will help you out with the scans. Good luck. 125 degrees. Uh, not really looking forward to that. Oh, go. All right, we've got it selected, right? Go. All right. And so I read the reviews on Steam. And some folks were sort of uh, comparing it to No Man's Sky a little bit. Um, a little drop pod here. That's cool. Malfunction. Malfunction. System shut out. What? We just got here. Only messing with you. Okay, Kit Kat. Kit Kat, I'm about ready to shoot you in the face. I want to be down here forever. Oh, poop. Alright. Okay, get anything for that? Oh, I thought I heard something. Very ominous music. This is really cool, though. I really like the, um... Get closer. I can't kill it. Yes, I can. I got it. Was, sure. Well, I mean, you know, you get ammo when you kill things. Uh, what is? Hang on, hang on. What was the? That didn't work. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Alright, so we have to figure out what the purpose... Oh, I already know it. What? How do we get up there, you reckon? Or can we? Rare injured. Press. How about this tree? All right. So what? What's the advantage? I mean, you know, why? Why are we scanning? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out. Let's resume the trading sequence. Go scan something. Okay, how? Look for any kind of plant or animal that looks interesting. It could be worth big chunks. Switch to scan mode, then aim at something. Roger that. Roger that. Keep the channel open. I may need your help. Okay, alright. Just a rock. No reason to scan it. Yeah, it's super interesting. Uh, I don't. This is interesting. I, that's what. what I, is it? I literally just said that. Mineral deposit. Shoot it to collect the mineral inside. Well. You will be deposit a pound in cave. You can use mineral to upgrade your suit and gun. Okay. Oh. 
What is this? Hey, I had a feeling I wasn't alone down here. Those creatures are worth something. If you can scan them without being killed in the process. <laughs> yeah, alright. And look at the right side. You got your pistol if you need it. Very reassuring of you. Go! <laughs> oh crap! Oh, he scared the snot out of me. Hey, fella. All right. So, how long? How many shots do we think it'll take? That wasn't much, was it? Nice. I was tempted to get up there, but I don't want to fall. And I. Hello. Might have found a little glitchy glitch. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything up there anyway. Alright, alright, alright. I like it. I really do. And I don't know what it was about the Steam page, um, the Steam listing that, that sort of that got, that got me interested. I mean, I'm honest. Cut. I found something weird. What did we find? Shoot it. What? Well, shoot it? When in doubt, shoot it. Oh gosh. Okay, I can handle this from here. Uh, the look of it, honestly, uh, it's just kind of unique and interesting. It's first person. I was kind of looking around for a first person. Hang on. Ancient technology sends small amounts of power to a location. In order, I did hear that there's puzzles, so that kind of piqued my interest. Many power modules can move bridges and platforms. All mini power modules must be activated for it to work. All right, since there's only one line to this door that opened it. I don't think anyone has lived in here for a while. I wonder what it was used for. I don't know. What is... That has like a skull or something on it? What the heck? We're gonna figure you out right away, my friend. No useful... Okay. Get ready to shoot it. Remember, he said, I have a tendency to pull my mouse. Have you noticed? I don't know what the deal is. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, it's like a skull. Yeah, so it has puzzles. Uh, also has, obviously, some... Careful mirror. I pass it in a one-way ticket to Nexville. Alright. Cool. I like the... It also has, um... Missions. It has a storyline. Uh, it also has just some planets that you can scan. I, you know, I, I like the idea as a checkpoint. I really like, love the idea of No Man's Sky, and I have No Man's Sky. These guys didn't find what they were looking for. That symbol on the ground. I wonder if it is what I think it is. Oh. But, you know, it got... I hate to say it, because I really like the game, but... Is this also acid, or is this a floor? Holy crap. Uh, dude? You do? Oh, that, that, did you, that freezes it. Oh, crap! Ah! Ah! Okay. Right, well, 
looks bad. Ah. I like the idea of. Oh. Excellent job with those temple closures. Thank you. Now come back to the rock pod. Easier said than done. Oh, look, that's the door. They're investigating different planets, scanning different things. You know, it's uh, it's interesting. Um, I like that about No Man's Sky. I should go and play it. Uh, I haven't played it in, I don't know, probably over a year. Because they've they've added some things, so that's why I should I should give it a shot. But I just haven't. Are you sure? Yes, please. I don't know. One of these days, I probably will see what's new about it. You know, they have the rovers and stuff. Um, anyway, um, this just looked like a nice. Get back to the station. Let's show Mr. Mason what we found. Uh, that. A nice, simple game. <laughs> Let's go back to the dashboard. <laughs> Map location. Okay, thank you. There we are. Let's go. And I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm a super, just dork. I mean, I love video games. Been playing video games since Pong, honestly. But I'm kind of a dork. Hello, Mira. I'm happy to see you return. Been very quiet up here. Oh, Mr. Mason, it was quite an adventure already. I've been able to scan several things for you. And how has Kit Kat been treating you? Kit Kat is... Kit Kat. But <laughs> you'll never change. I'm glad you're back in one piece. Thanks, Mr. Mason. I also wanted to talk to you about some other things I found down there. I believe that I may have seen the Morphite symbol, etched in stone in an abandoned temple that I was in. Interesting. It's been a while since I've heard any stories of Morphite. It's been a very long time indeed. Are you sure it was that symbol? It was the Morphite symbol. I wonder what would happen if I found some. Morphite, that is. It was very powerful, Mira, and also very dangerous. But it's all gone now. Anyway, I have a special item for you. What is it? It's a beacon. You can use it to summon your drop pod. Oh. Now I'm going to send you to Jawler for some more scans. There is some exquisite plant life on that planet. Your ship does not have enough fuel to reach this star system. You can travel to the local space station to refuel. Your fuel also slowly recharges over time. Some systems are simply too far away. Warp to closer stars to make it to your destination. Alright. Alright. Well, I think that's what I'm going to try next. But, my time is just about up. Oh, I know what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a dork when it comes. You know, it takes me a second to sort of get used to things and then feel like I'm getting successful at something. It takes me a minute. Uh, and, you know, with No Man's Sky, I don't know what it was. I just never felt comfortable with it. You know, I don't know how to explain it. Which I know it's kind of a... I don't know. It's, it's a weird idea. Uh, but this game looked intriguing. I want to try it. And... Uh, Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the, the first lesson. I hope that you'll come back. As with any of my lessons, my homework to you is always, please like, subscribe, and comment. I love comments. That's the thing I love the most. I'll be more than happy to hear any suggestions, uh, any things that, that you want to tell me about this game that you've uh, enjoyed and looked forward to. Um, any kind of encouragement. Yeah, this is an awesome game. I think you should keep trying or, hey, there's 
this was kind of challenging, so be careful. I'm just looking to enjoy something that's a little more laid back, maybe. And uh, Seven Days to Die gets me all worked up, tense. I'm hoping this game kind of just relaxes. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, I kind of like the looks of it. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I don't have uh, a whole lot of games under my belt that I could compare it to, but maybe No Man's a nice laid back No Man's Sky is a good com uh, a good a de good description. So I'll go with that. Hey, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Thank you.